Hello students, welcome to another DPP of atomic structure. This is based on D. Broglie's hypothesis and its connection to the Bohr model. So let's attempt the questions. If a particle has kinetic energy equal to K and D. Broglie wavelength equal to lambda, then its mass is. See, you have to use this relation. You can use this as a hint. H is equal to, uh, lambda is equal to H upon momentum. And you know that momentum is equal to square root two times mass into kinetic energy. So let's use this. So we first of all get the momentum from here. P is equal to H upon lambda. And you take the square of this equation, you'll get uh, mass is equal to P square upon 2K this now you substitute p over here to get the final expression of mass that is h square upon 2 lambda square k so that's an amazing relation you have got so there is the answer b option is there very good now let's read the second question the ratio of de broglie wavelength of a proton and an alpha particle with the same momenta is Students sometimes get confused in that because mass of proton is approximately 1 amu and mass of alpha is approximately 4 amu. So they might have a tendency to use this, but lead the question. They have the same momenta and we know that de Broglie wavelength is just uh, uh, h upon momentum. So if momentum is same, then nothing can be different. So one is to one. That means lambda proton is equal to lambda alpha. Here comes the third question. There is an electron which has a kinetic energy equal to 100 electron volt and then it is retarded by 99 volts. What is the ratio of its initial and the final de Broglie wavelengths? So you know that lambda is h upon momentum and momentum is directly proportional to square root of kinetic energy. So here we have the ratio lambda initial upon lambda final will be equal to square root of kinetic energy final upon kinetic energy initial. So there we are. Final kinetic energy is equal to 100 minus 99 because you are retarding it, slowing it down. And initial kinetic energy is 100. So that's a square root of 1 upon 100, which is 1 upon 10. So there is a wonderful answer waiting for this C. Now let's have a beautiful question which says the de Broglie wavelength of an electron in the kth excited state is equal to x times the circumference of its orbit. x is equal to. You know a very very popular relation that there is an orbit of electron around the nucleus and electron has a tendency to remain like a wave. So you must have seen this kind of arrangement, right? And the relation what we have is 2 pi radius is equal to n lambda. So let's call this as a circumference. So if c is a circumference, then is equal to n lambda. Now you one thing you notice, if there is a kth excited state, then n is clearly equal to k plus 1. So lambda will finally be equal to c upon n, and n is k plus 1. So how much times of c? The 1 upon k plus 1. So there is a wonderful option waiting for us. That is a c option. So that's very good DPP revision. Thank you.